The Ohio State men's basketball team has now lost four straight games, their longest losing streak since the 2007-2008 season. The Buckeyes fell to Nebraska on the road, losing 68-62. to Cold shooting and turnovers were a problem for the Buckeyes. With little under six minutes to go in the game, the Buckeyes rallied and overcame a 14-point first-half deficit. But it wasn't enough to take the game. Aaron Kraft with 12 points, Quentin Ross with 11, and Lenzel Smith Jr. had 10. In women's basketball, the ladies returned home after a 66-42 loss at Penn State. The Buckeyes took on Iowa, but couldn't quite get it done, falling to the Hawkeyes 81-74. This gave the Hawkeyes their first win at Value City Arena since it opened in 1998. The Buckeyes went on in an 11-0 run in the second half, but it wasn't enough to get the win. Amherst Olsen had 24 points, Martina Ellerby with 17, and Raven Ferguson added 11 points off the bench. The men's ice hockey team lost to number one ranked Minnesota in the Hockey City Classic outdoor game. The Golden Gophers swept the Buckeyes, falling in the first game 1-0 and in the second game 4-2. The Buckeyes started the goals off, leading 2-0 thanks to shots from Nick Odo and Drew Brevidge. The Buckeyes travel to Madison to take on Wisconsin. In women's ice hockey, the Buckeyes return from Minnesota with a pair of ties. Tying Duluth in the first game 0-0, the second game ended in a 2-2 tie after Ali Tarr scored the game-tying goal to send it into overtime. The Buckeyes continue to play Minnesota teams, taking on Minnesota State this weekend at home. The Ohio State men's wrestling team is back on the mat. The number 10 ranked Buckeyes have started their season 7-2 overall, coming off a 21-12 win in Cincinnati against number 15 Northwestern. The Buckeyes won six matches, one of them a technical fall by junior Logan Steber. The Buckeyes return home to take on Nebraska at St. John's Arena Friday night. The men's volleyball team is back on the courts. They started off their season in Honolulu, losing matches against Hawaii, UCLA, and Penn State. Coming back to the mainland, the Buckeyes managed to turn it around at home, defeating Lees McRae and George Mason in St. John's Arena 3-0. The Buckeyes hit the road this weekend to take on Quincy and Lindenwood. Ohio State's number 19 women's gymnastics team opened their season posting a 194.750, finishing second behind number 12 Oregon State but ahead of Bowling Green. Last week the Buckeyes fell to number 19 Rutgers by half a point. The Buckeyes travel to Ann Arbor to take on Michigan this weekend. For all your winter and spring sports news, make sure to check out thelantern.com and follow Lantern Sports on Twitter. Reporting for The Lantern, I'm Jordan Elwood.